the lockbox out when I take this office. Speaking of supplies, a lot of times the parents will want us to buy all the supplies. If it's something for a project, make sure the parent goes out and buys it. We can help as much as we can, but at some point there'll have to be a parental responsibility in there. So we'll the parent to make sure they're going and getting necessary supplies too. Um, Megan, and, uh, <coughs> you guys do you guys require the um, receipts too? Yeah, yes. to be attached to yes. the form. Room assignments. It has been very hectic here trying to figure out where we're going to place everyone, all the students and students. Um, you'll be notified by the 16th, which is next week, of your room assignment. We're actually going to be moving this room to, to another room today, or, or today and tomorrow. So um, it's, it's been very hectic, but you'll know your room assignment by next week. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, oh, questions? Um, Yes, in regards to finding a tutor like to cover your shifts, um, can you guys send out an email to all of us like which students at which school so that we have access yeah. to, okay, this person works at Boulder Oaks with this grade, really good idea. and then we can just kind of correspond that way. Yeah, I'll send out, um, okay. no, it's a good idea. I'll send out the whole schedule, and maybe this will help too, and it'll have every school with the student schedule with the tutor's contact information, so it'll have their cell phone, their name, and their email. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Steamology, or STEAM, but I'm going to transform that into STEAMology because we're training all of our students to become STEAMologists. Um, all of you know what the acronym STEAM stands for, Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Um, it takes place over at the REC. We actually do have a lab. Um, last year was our first year of doing this. Um, I'm happy to say we are so excited and we're very advanced. Um, this is a program that teaches kids how to problem solve, conflict resolution, the whole scientific method. We use those terms. I write those terms in English, but this program is done in the language, um, in the Kumeyaay language. So we're not creating new words, but we're describing things that are going on. Um, those of you that had a chance to do the Kumeyaay um, in the STEAM lab this summer as teachers, where are you? Some of you, I'm right here. Um, you got to make zip lines. We're taught, you know, the kids are doing it all hands on. So chemistry is, can be cooking or it can be all kinds of different various concoctions. We do have an outside area um, because we're rapidly growing and expanding and I keep telling you that we move to school just for the STEAM lab. Um, anyway, in my dreams. Um, so it is a uh, creating um, thinkers. Um, so the kids at the beginning of the year be like, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, let's figure out. You know, is that right? We're not focused on what's right and what's wrong. We want kids to make mistakes in there. We're changing that whole mistake. Mistakes are a good thing because if scientists didn't make mistakes, we wouldn't be at the technological advanced state that we're at. You can argue whether that's good or bad later at another point in time. Um, we do address controversial issues, environmental issues. We address all those things in the STEAM lab. This is a, an issue that all of us as humanity face. How do we solve that? How do we problem solve that? Um, you also get a chance to participate with your students. We have three competition days a year. Um, the first one comes up on the first Wednesday of November, um, which is early dismissal day. And um, last year we did examples of things, making an anatomically correct spider. Well, you have to have some knowledge of what anatomically correct means for an arachnid, specifically a spider. We use that terminology with the kids, so they're used to hearing those kinds of words. They're hearing the scientific method. It's a problem. It's a hypothesis. What's your guess? How would we solve that? Those are the kinds of things that are happening there. So it's just amazing processes that are happening. We celebrate mistakes in the STEAM lab. Um, so it's an exciting yeah, thing that happens. And all it happens uh, four days a week from 5 to 6, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders have 4 to 5 on um, Thursdays. 
Um, so that's that. Come and see it in action because it's an amazing thing what goes on there. Uh, Kumiai success. <clears throat> I get the privilege of having Mercedes back again. I'm so excited. We're on all the campuses. This is huge. We're celebrating um, the culture and the language of the Kumiai people on all of the campuses in Alpine. There's no other district anywhere that does that. So this is an amazing thing. It is equally as important as everything that has been said to you today about homework and about the tutoring. It's not less than, it's not more than, it is equally important. We have seen an increase in our children's self-esteem because they know who they are and they're sharing that culture with their friends on campuses. Some of the things that we do, if you're on campus, you'll get to participate. Um, we have Bring a Friend Day. Many, things, many times what happened was the kids wanted to bring their teachers because they wanted their teachers to know. We have our own classroom on every campus and we decorate that with different things. Um, typically they don't have tables and chairs. I mean, they don't have desks rather because we do a lot of activities on the floor. Um, we play games, we play traditional games, we have translated over 150 different games or created games to encourage the language. Um, when Mercedes and I are in the classroom, we're not using English. So they're going to get what we're saying by our animation, as you can tell, I'm like, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, those kinds of things are out there. The teachers also get to participate in Kumiai success, which ends up being quite a challenge. Don't ever play with Megan. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, real competition. We have competition days in the language set for the teachers um, in the Ed Department, KRP, and the REC. So that'll be interesting. That's the first time we're doing that this year. Um, and then you will have, um, we're trying to, those of you that have taken the language, Throw out English. If you know those words in Kumiai, please use those words in Kumiai. Ipe a, ipe a, ipe a. So you know, some of you know colors or numbers. Please encourage and use that. Your students are used to hearing that, hearing the language. We want that to continue and to thrive. And thank you for participating. Yes, it's a stretch to learn a new language. Expand your brain. You won't get Alzheimer's. Um, yeah. <laughs> So last semester was the first time that we offered um, Kumiai Success language with the tutors. So I had a small group, roughly around five or six um, tutors that joined me, and it was honestly one of the greatest things. Um, like I said, I've worked here for 10 years, and I've worked with every single age possible. Since, honestly, I was a teenager, actually, I started working with kids when I was about 14, 15 years old. So to work with adults and to see the learning happen in, in adults and that relaxation and just when I seen some of my tutors' faces light up when things made sense, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so wonderful because not only is it coming from experience of seeing the kids, like Debbie said, our kids are now encouraged and they're finding a pride in themselves. And it is gravitating, it is growing, and it is on campus, and you do see it with their peers and their friends. I had students come up to me last year and ask me, how can I be Kumiai? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Kumiai like you. I want to be Kumiai like my friend. And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe in the future, you can have Kumiai kids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that to you. <laughs> but it's just that there is a pride and with my tutors last year I did personally thank them for coming and joining this class because you guys work with our students every single day and I know this because Jenny was a tutor for me Brenda was a tutor for me and there's students that are adults now that honestly I can honestly say would have never been where they are if they didn't have tutors that were in their lives you see these kids sometimes more than their parents and that's the truth, that's the reality, and I know that you know our tribe is forever grateful for that. So when I do do the tutoring, I do just encourage and thank you guys always. Thank you for being here. Thank you for learning my language. Thank you for learning your students' language. And also to encourage what we do learn, it is at a smaller scale, because I understand what it's like to learn this language. It's hard. It is tough. There's no getting around that. 
You'll make mistakes and that's okay. Everybody does them. I still do it. It's wonderful. It's great. You learn as you do it. Also, um, I encourage what we do learn, that you, you, you do use it with your students. And don't get it twisted. Your kids know this language. There's kids that we worked with since they were two years old. So if, if they try to pull the, I don't really know how to say that, or I don't know, you tell me. They know it. <laughs> they know it. Don't let them fool you. So if you're using it with them, I believe that it will help create a comfort for them to use it back with you. And again, that circle will just come all the way around and will be a fluently speaking tribe. So thank you guys. I hope to see you guys. Our first class um, is the 14th of September. Like I said, 515 to 545, it'll be here. Also, like I said, just to inform you, there's going to be leeway. If you can't make it right away, don't discourage yourself from not coming. I want you to come. So it's okay if you're late. We'll catch up the next week. Not, a, not an issue. If you guys have any questions, I'm here. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I hope to see you guys a lot more often. So thank you guys. Um, IT issues, it's inevitable, the printers, the computers, everything, there's going to be issues at some point with the Wi-Fi. Honestly, I have no clue how to help you with this stuff, so don't come to me, don't come to us, we're not going to be of much use. Contact Gary Howard, he is over at the IT center, just right across the way by the high school center, he's the director of IT. So there's his email, there's his phone number. If you shoot him an email or if you call him and you're not getting a quick response, as in the next day he's not able to address your problem, get me in the mix, shoot me an email, let me know what's going on so then I can follow up with him directly to get it going. Would that be including like ink and that sort of thing? Or is that role? Um, that would be us. We have the ink here, so okay. it'll all be in the supply room and everything. That's a good question. Ink and paper. Yeah. yeah. Good question. Okay, so today's invoice that is due today, you're going to track the total time. I'm going to send over blank invoices right now. So just grab one and fill it out and turn it into the lockbox outside my office today. It's due, like I said today, track time under one of the students you worked with last year. If you're a new tutor and don't know what to write in there, just leave it blank. I'll write something in for you. The invoice number for today's invoice will be the number listed here, the 81116. Megan, do you want those of us who went to the... Uh, yeah, you can do that too. Okay. So I know this was a lot. Or it is a lot, actually. Um, that was covered. Any questions you guys may have, now we'll be around, but even after you digest this all, um, please make sure you guys give us a call, give us an email, we're available, especially it would be great to answer all the questions before the start of the school year. Um, please make sure we're all prepared to get started.